Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could talk about nail polish. I used to talk about my nail polish on my channel a lot. I did nail polish collections and I used to do nail polish hauls. I think I even tried some nail art. I wasn't that great at it, but I had a crack. And then other than that, I haven't talked about nail polish bar, maybe recommending a few in favorites or the, a random one in a haul for a very long time. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video talking about my favorite chic, neutral nail polishes. I have a top five which are on my hand and I also have a few other recommendations for you. I was kind of inspired by my friend Karima from Shameless Frippery. She recently did a blog post. It was probably a little while ago now but she did a blog post on her favorite chic nude nail polishes and I really enjoyed seeing her favorite nude ones. So I've changed it to neutrals just because I tend to wear kind of neutral colors a lot. I do have a corporate job in a corporate office, so nude and neutral kind of colors tend to be what I go for during the week, except at, you know, Christmas time and Halloween and any other time that I feel like bringing out the fun colors or going for those really deep burgundies and, and things like that. So I'm going to get into it. I have some high-end and some cheaper ones as well, a whole range for you. The first one that I have here is one that I mentioned not too long ago. I picked it up from Sephora. It's the Nails Ink Victoria Beckham Special Edition or Limited Edition shade. And this one is called Bamboo White. The packaging is gorgeous, really sort of like nice Nails Ink packaging. And this one is a off-white, slightly pink tone shade. It's really opaque and easy to apply. I tend to be able to get it, you can get it opaque in almost one thick coat. I tend to do two slightly thinner coats and it gives me a really nice finish. It's also really long wearing on its own without a top coat, but with a top coat, you can get it to last for sort of over a week, which is fantastic for me because I'm really rough with my nails as demonstrated by the fact that I've just done this and I've already got like little chips and divots and things like that because I had to tie my hair up after I painted my nails. Not a good idea. Really, really like this one from Nails Inc. It was $35, so it's quite a pricey, I've just knocked stuff over, um, quite a pricey uh, nail polish, but highly, highly recommended. If you like your kind of off-white shades, then I definitely think you'd like this one. The next one that I have here is a favorite for this season, and it is Essie's Chin Chili. This one's like a really nice kind of neutral gray shade. I get so many compliments when I wear this nail polish, and this bottle that I have, because I've had a lot of Essie over the years, um, they used to have a thinner brush. Now the brush is a little bit thicker, and it's a bit more of a, like a professional style brush. The Nails Ink one is quite thick as well. These are great. You can sort of apply the nail polish in just a few strokes and have your entire nail covered. Essie is probably not my most long wearing uh, formula of nail polish, but it does a decent job and it, it is opaque quite quickly. I tend to pair it with a top coat and that sort of extends the longevity. My favorite top coat at the moment is the Sesh Feet. This does amazing things. It makes your nails really glossy and shiny and makes them last while quite a while and also dry quickly as well, which is awesome. The third shade that I have along here in my middle finger, I promise you I'm not giving you the finger. This one is one of my favorite drugstore formulations. It's the Maybelline Superstay or Forever Strong Superstay Gel Nail Color. Uh, this one's in the shade Rose Podre number 130. This is a gorgeous kind of pinky, mauvey neutral shade. Really, really like this one. This one is long wearing again on its own. Nice formula, easy to apply, nice thick brush as well. Well, um, it is on like slightly thinner than some of the other nail polishes, but a couple of coats and you can get full opacity. Sometimes I might do three if I want it a bit stronger in color, but I just, I really, really like this formula. I don't own many of these, but I really want to pick up some more because it is a great, great nail polish range from Maybelline. My cheapest favorite and a nail polish range that I've been raving about right back from when I very first started YouTube is the uh, 60 second range that they have there from Rimmel. This is the 60 second super shine in the shade Caramel Cupcake number 500. A recent purchase for me, but I really do love these nail polishes. Cute little bottle. Again, they have the nice thick brush, very professional, a nice sort of thick formula. This one's quite opaque. Again, in only a couple of coats, all these are just two coats. And it's a nice kind of neutral creamy brown shade. It, it's more brown than say the Rose Padre, which is more pinky mauve. Just looks really nice. I think it would look great with a tan on your nails as well, but also great on paler skins as well, because it'd be a little bit more um, of a contrast. Great everyday nail polish will go with everything because it is that, that really neutral 
brown beige shade. And then the last one that I have here is from the Sally Hansen Complete Manicure line and it's Cafe Orlat, Orlay, I don't know how to pronounce the name, it's French, um, but it's number 220 and it is a really nice neutral colour. This one is a little bit more of a peachy nude in comparison to the Rimmel, but again a really really nice shade. This one I think would really suit you if you have paler more like peaches and cream style like skin or tones to you. I think you'll love this one, but overall I think everybody would like this one. The Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure uh, formulation is a really, really good one. Again, it's long wearing, um, has great opacity, the great sort of thick brush is uh, quite glossy and shiny on its own as well really really like that one. So they are my top five neutral shades that I tend to gravitate towards and reach for a lot. I do have a ridiculously large nail polish collection but those are the ones that I've been reaching for recently. I do tend to prefer the sort of creamy formula when it comes to like a finish on the nails but I do like my metallics as well and some of my favorite metallic neutrals one of them here is from OPI, it's Designer to Better, which is actually, was part of a limited edition Christmas collection a few years back, the Muppets Christmas collection. So I'm not 100% sure if you can still get it, but if you can find it and get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. This is long wearing, it's like a champagne kind of shimmer with then some really kind of small like copper orange micro glitters in it that you kind of can't see, but they just kind of make up the part of the shade when you look at it overall. A really nice neutral kind of platinum champagne. In a similar vein, I have here Orly Rage. Now this was, as the name suggests, All the Rage a few years back on YouTube. It, it was kind of ahead of its time because it's like a pinky, metallic-y shade, kind of a little bit rose goldy, I guess you could say. Before the rose gold trend was really a thing, this was kind of a rosy, metallic shade before that. Um, it's what I'm wearing on this finger. They look quite similar, but this one's definitely more of a rosy shade. Very reflective, great formula. I really do think that Orly nail polishes are quite underrated. They're not spoken about a lot, but every one that I've ever tried has always been really good quality, so love that one. And then the last three that I have to mention are the kind of neutrals that I enjoy that didn't quite make the top five. They're all actually from Essie, strangely enough. Um, they do a great range of shades. The first one is Essie's Ladylike. This one probably would have actually made the top five. It is a very similar shade to Rose Padre, but just a little bit more mauvey, which is kind of why I decided to include the Maybelline one, just because it's a different formula and I do genuinely enjoy the Maybelline formula, particularly even without a top coat, it, it does really well. But Essie's Ladylike, really, really nice uh, color there, one that I reach for a lot. Movie kind of pinky neutrals look very, very like girly and chic and I just love it. The next one is a similar shade. This one's a little bit more, I guess, a pinky brown, beigey color in a way. This one has like a satin finish to it. It's Essie's Buy Me a Cameo and I tend to not go for those sort of satiny pearlescent shades that much, but if you do like that kind of finish, then definitely check out Buy Me a Cameo. And then the last one I have here is Essie's Mademoiselle, and this one's a semi-sheer nail polish. Kind of gives your nails a milky, slightly like peachy peaches and cream kind of finish to it but you can still see the natural nail through it great for if you want to do a french manicure or sometimes i just like painting my nails when i don't really want to have any nail polish on but i want them just to look polished and, and done rather than just putting on a clear coat i might use essie's mademoiselle really really nice for that kind of finish there we still want to see your natural nails so they are all my favorite chic girly neutral or nudie shade nail polishes i hope you guys have enjoyed hearing about them if you've tried any of them let me know if you liked them and if you have any of other favorite nudes or neutrals or even just nail polish brands or formulas that you think that i absolutely have to try definitely share them with me in the comments i'd love to hear from you i now have to take this off and pick a shade to put on so I'd also love for you to tell me, out of the 10 shades that I currently have on my nails, which one should I paint the whole 10 with? Let me know, pick your favourite in the comments below, and whichever one gets the most, I guess I'll, I'll paint my nails that colour. Other than that, I also have a list of all the nail polishes mentioned, all my social media links, and all this other information in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. I do take the time to fill all that out, and I'll maybe put some links to where you can buy these nail polishes and prices or whatever if I've got them. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop talking now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you all next time. Bye.